it's hard to believe this was once a school. Yet despite the fact a GPS receiver stands in the grounds on the front line of the devastation, GPS technology couldn't predict the earthquake. Even though GPS can measure the surface of the earth in great detail, it cannot predict tectonic shifts beneath the ground. It can tell us what has happened, not what is about to happen. Or that's what we thought. Professor Kasuki Heiki analyzes GPS signals, but he's not working out his location. He tries to work out why they fluctuate. He measures how much GPS is disrupted by electrons in the atmosphere. It's called the TEC, or total electron content. Professor Heiki has been studying how, after big earthquakes, rumbling sound waves disrupt GPS signals. But in the days after the Tohoku earthquake, he noticed something unexpected. He discovered a strange disruption in the GPS signals before the earthquake happened. I want to understand what's happening with this phenomena. So can you show me a curve of what's happening with no earthquake mm -hmm. and what's happening if an earthquake is coming? OK. So let's assume this is TEC. Now, TEC, that's the number of electrons that's right. in the ionosphere, about yes. 300 kilometers up. Yes. OK. And this is time. Time. And if there is no earthquake, it behaves like a smooth curve, like this. Why do we get that f strange curve? Why isn't it a flat? Because of the movement of the GPS satellite in the sky. So this is an, a kind of apparent movement, apparent change. So when it goes through a thick bit of atmosphere, yeah. you get more electrons. That's right. As it's straight overhead, mm -hmm. you get fewer electrons. Yes. And then again, you get a thick bit. Yeah. OK, that makes sense. So you get a curve. Yes. But that's if no earthquake's going to happen. Yeah. And if there's an earthquake here, for example, so that's the earthquake. Yeah, this is the earthquake. Then it will leave the normal curve about one hour before the earthquake, like this. And uh, there's a disturbance caused by the sound wave. So it suddenly seems from this curve, because it's higher than this one, you're getting more electrons in the atmosphere. That's right. That seems strange. You've got an earthquake coming, and suddenly you're getting more electrons in the atmosphere. Yeah, that's a very strange phenomenon. So it's thought the the that in the lead up to an earthquake, forces deep underground somehow energize electrons high in the atmosphere, which in turn disrupts GPS signals. And Heike has noticed this has also happened before other earthquakes too, like Chile in 2010. It's a remarkable discovery, which at the moment scientists don't fully understand but it offers hope that one day GPS will act as an earthquake predictor, saving countless lives.